Welcome to Faith School. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you, God, for the revelation of your word. Because your word says, for he sent his word, and his word heals them. Your word says, so mightily grow the word of God and prevails. Lord, we thank you for the prevailing power of your word Amen. over our situation, over our circumstance. Amen. Lord, we trust the great mighty Holy Spirit this morning or this afternoon or this evening as the case may be, that it will unveil the word of God to our spirit, man. We will see the importance of walking in faith of God. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. amen and amen. Please go ahead and share this video. Let it be a blessing to someone. Because we believe that God is yet to do another great things in our life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, the video that you just watched, 
is our upcoming camp meeting that is coming up in December 20, 20th to 22nd. Glory to God. I'm telling you, I'm excited about this camp meeting because it's going to be a great time in the presence of the Lord. Glory to God. All right. This is Faith School. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is Faith School. We are still talking about fighting the good fight of faith because it is God's will for us to overcome in life. Not just once in a while, but all Always. of the time. <laughs> I love that. Not just once in a while, but all of the time. The word of God says, thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. The word of God says, this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even what? Even our faith. So it is important for us to understand that God wants us to excel in life. And uh, he wants us to do it in a way that we will always, in a way that we'll be skilled about it. So that when opposition comes this time, we will always be victorious. Very, very, very important. That's right. He wants, he wants to equip us. That's right. <laughs> he wants to equip us. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love that. That it's not just one time that you are mm. winning. You are mm. winning always. I Praise love that. Lord. Hallelujah. Because you have been equipped. You have been skilled. That's right. You have been empowered. That's right. That's by right. the power of God and His word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So please go ahead and share the video. Go ahead and share the video. All right. So let's let's look at our, our, our golden, golden text. Thank you, Jesus. Our golden text. Because everything that we are doing, it is based upon God's word. Should based upon God's word. Glory to God. Should based upon God's word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right. Um, 1 Timothy chapter 1. I mean, 1 Timothy 6 from verse 12. Now, people of God, this is going to be the sixth episode in this subtitle of Fighting the Good Fight of Faith. You know, we have talked about so many areas of faith because it's a faith school. Every Thursday is our faith school uh, program. So I'm going to encourage you to go on our Facebook page or the ministry page. I can tell you Yemi Ministries. Or also go on YouTube which is Akintadi Uyemi Ministries. So there you're going to see our previous broadcast, what we have done before. Glory to God, because we are building on. Hallelujah. We are building on. Because if uh, we don't get the first thing, the first step, then it might be difficult for us to understand what we are talking about right now. So please go there. And you're going to see a whole lot of our videos, a whole lot of our previous broadcasts there. Glory to God. Because it is important for us to understand that things builds on top of each other. Glory to God. All right. So, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. Thank you, Lord. 1 Timothy 6, 12. Please go ahead and share the video. Thank you, Jesus. The, the, um, the, the, the word of God has power to liberate us. But we need to understand that without the word, we cannot do anything. Look at what the word of God says here. He said, fight the good fight of faith. <laughs> I love that. He said, fight the good fight of faith. <laughs> So, which means there is there is a fight for us as believers to fight, and it's not it's not just what is a what is a good fight of faith. Is a good fight of faith. Now, because this is very important for us to understand, there are a lot of us believers that will think that once we are born again, it's just going to be smooth. Yes, it can be smooth, but it takes faith to make it what to be smooth. It doesn't mean that opposition will not come. Jesus said, he said, uh, in the world you will have tribulations. He said, be of good cheer. For what? For I have overcome the world. He said, in the world you shall have tribulations. Mm -hmm. Persecutions, trials, something that is trying to contend against our faith. It's going to come. <laughs> Yours may not, be, may not be now, but it will come. But God wants us to be ready as soldiers of Christ so that... We are not taken aback. Oh, why? Why is this? Why is this? Because a lot of the time, one of the reasons that we cannot get hold of ourselves and fight is because we always question: Why is this happening to me? 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 Mm. You see. Mm. But if you can just understand that in this world that you are, oppositions will come, tribulations will come. So you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have to be bothered. Because the word of God says, is that we glory in tribulations. Mm. We glory in tribulations. The word of God says, says, count it all joy when you fall into diverse tests and trials and diverse temptations. So they're going to come. But God wants us to what? To, to arm ourselves with his, might, with, with his word, the mighty weapon. Amen. Amen. 
You know, when you're saying that Thank you, Jesus. a lot of the time we ask, why is it happening mm. happening to me? Why mm. me? Why me? Well, mm. it's you because you're a child of God. That's right. That's it's right. you because you have enlisted mm. in the army of the Lord. Amen. So you should be ready to fight. That's right. That's right. Please, Lord, that's <laughs> why it's happening to you. The Bible that's right. says, they said, uh, I accuse, I mean, temptation arose mm-hmm. because of the word. Because, yes, because of the word's sake. Of the, okay, say opposition arose because that's for right. the word's sake. That's right. It's happening to you because mm-hmm. you're a child of that's God. That's right, that's right. The devil wants to try the word of mm. God that you said you believe. believe. He wants to know whether you truly, truly, because mm. believe me, mm. the devil believes the word of God. <laughs> that's so right. So he wants to know whether you believe it. Mm. Praise mm. the Lord. That Hallelujah. is happening to you because you're a soldier, uh, you're a soldier of Christ. That's you have right. enlisted in the army mm. of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is why God is telling us in his word. Mm. That as a soldier fights. Glory to God. I love that. Fight. As a soldier fights. Fight. fight. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Glory. As a soldier fights. Fight. Because if we can quit that mentality of why is this happening to me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Then and understand that we are in a battle. That's right. <laughs> now, we're not saying this to scare you, but the truth of the matter is. In as much as we are in this world, this three-dimensional world, the Bible talks about that uh, the devil, who, who the devil is the god of this world. You know, how did he become the god of this world? Our very first forefather, Adam, sold, sold it to him. So he, he is in charge. But here's the thing: he is the god of this world, not your god. Not your god. Why? Because Jesus has already given us the victory. Jesus has already made us an overcomer. Jesus has already provided the legal ground for us to what? To enforce the victory that he has given us over him. The legal ground. So if we can just quit that place of, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? And just understand that you have mighty weapons in God. The Bible says for the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal but are mighty through God. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strong ghosts, casting down imaginations, and every I thing that is exalted in self against the knowledge of God. So which means, look at what the word of God says. Say, every I thing that is exalted in self against the knowledge of God. So there are things, there are demons, there are situations, there are circumstances that want to pose a threat to your standing in Christ. Mm, to who you are. To who you are in Christ. Want to challenge you. Want to who, challenge you, you, are. you who you are. Because in as much as you have made Jesus the Lord of your life, number one, you are a victorious person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amen. You might not feel that way. It might not. It might seem that it's not real to you. But either you like it or not, you are a victorious person. <laughs> so it is now left for us to rise up to the to that level of victorious mentality, to the consciousness of who we are in Christ, to the consciousness of what God has done for us in Christ. Amen. Which means we have to know who we are. That's right. You have That's to right. Understand who you are in Thank the you, Lord. Jesus. That's right. That's right. What but, the blood of mm-hmm. Jesus mm-hmm. has made you. Has That's made right. you the righteous That's right. one. He has made you mm-hmm. the victorious mm-hmm. one. He mm-hmm. has made you the winner. Hallelujah. He has made you to sit in Thank heavenly Jesus. places with Him, hmm. far above all principalities, all principalities and powers, far above Hallelujah. that sickness, Thank you, Jesus. far above that lack. Mm. That is who you are in mm. the Lord. Mm. So unless we understand mm. who we are in the Lord, mm. living it. Mm. <laughs> it may be difficult. That's right. So, you know, of course, that's, that's what we're yeah. going to go to camp yeah. on. You know? yeah. I mean, that's very great. You know, the, 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 the pre-introduction mm. of it. If we don't understand that in this world, tribulations will come, mm-hmm. number one. Number two, or first of all, oh, yes, number one, tribulations will come, but we are an overcomer. Yes. You know, because... Soldiers, they always prepare for battle. You know, that's why that's why they go through all of this training. Those training, you know, they do simulations of what you know. They have a grand. Like some people, some of them is going to be like enemy. Why some is going to be the one uh, attacking or defending their territory? So they will map out different strategies of how enemy might want to attack them, and these other ones will also what map out strategies or understand their weapons that they have that is going to help them what to overcome you see we are soldiers of christ we have been in the 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 the, the moment we got born again we have been enlisted in what in god's army and this army 
the battle that we're going to be fighting, it's already won. Not going to. It's already won, already declared. So you see, because I believe that the Spirit of the Lord is helping us to say that because there are people that they are fighting cancer. They are fighting sickness. You know, they are, you know it's almost like they are almost giving up. You know, so they are, they, they, the devil is trying to put them into the place, into that place of condemnation. That's probably what you have done in the past. That's what is catching up on you. It doesn't matter what your past has been. It doesn't matter what has happened in your life before. But the truth of the matter is, if you have repented, God has forgiven you. See, this is part of knowing, which we're going to get into, knowing. Amen. You know, your past sins, he has, if you have repented, he has forgiven you and forgotten about it. He has forgiven you, he has forgotten about it. So even if it's by your own mistake, maybe something that you expose yourself to, you know, it might not just be in the area of sickness. It can be in the area of finance, maybe in the area of financial debts, or whatever it is, or whatever it is, or maybe uh, your marriage, or whatever it is going on that is not pleasing to you right now. And the enemy is saying, you see, you brought it upon yourself. The enemy is saying, look, this is, look at where you are right now. Look at, what you, look at where you are right now. Or the enemy is saying, if you call yourself a Christian, why is this happening to you? You know, the devil just keep rattling, 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 rattling to your ears that, and you call yourself a child of God. If, you're, if you call yourself a child of God, how come this is your God? It's not delivering you right now. <laughs> Glory to God. You see, why is it that the devil wants to capitalize on that? Because he knows that in as much you are in that arena of reasoning, arena of recondemnation, arena of, you know what? I don't really know what is going on. Arena of self-pity, your faiths. Is weakened. Your confidence in God's word is weakened. Because the Bible says the spirit of a man will sustain him. So a strong spirit, a strong spirit is very important. Strong spirit. We're talking about our born again, recreated human spirit. Being strong, a strong spirit is very important. So if the enemy can find a way to crush us, you know, through um, reminding us about our past mistakes, uh, guilt about what we have done before, Oh, uh, maybe he was saying that, well, your father, 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 father is cause. You know, that's why you are working in that generational cause, whatever it is. Now, we're not saying all those, all of those things are not, are not real. But the truth of the matter is, in Christ, you have victory. Mm. In Christ, you are forgiven. In Christ, your sins are forgotten. In Christ, because you are in Christ, generational causes don't have power over you. Oh, somebody's going to say, are you serious that... Because I'm in Christ right now, generational causes don't have power. Yes, exactly. That's what we just said. Because the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, what? He's a new creation. He said, behold, all things are passed away, including generational causes. Mm. But you see, you have to understand. Oh, well, somebody says, so I have to go for deliverance. They have to lay arms, pay, pray, pray five hours or ten hours upon me. Even if you come, if I lay hands on you and bring the generational causes over you, which, yes, I can pray for you. But if you don't have the understanding of who you are in Christ, mm -hmm. if you don't realize that I am a child of God, you might have a temporary relief, but if the substance is not to there hold to hold it, to hold to your victory, mm -hmm. the understanding of it, you're just going to find out that uh, even your the, the after the uh, even when I, uh, the after I'm uh, at the end of the day. When I might have prayed for you, you might find out that your life is even much more miserable. Why? Because the devil goes, he comes back, you find out the place is empty. Then he brings what? <laughs> Ten times. Nice. You see that? So oh. the knowledge of God's word is highly, highly important. So if we stop that, say, okay, all right, I missed it. I've done terrible things in the past, but God has forgiven me because I've, I've asked for his forgiveness. First John 1 John 1.9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That sense of unworthiness, that sense that I cannot approach God, that consciousness of it is, is faithful to cleanse us from it because the blood still forgives, still Amen. cleanses. Amen. Glory to God. All right. So, he said, fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith because the fight that we are fighting, it is what? It is a good fight. <laughs> I love that, you know. <laughs> Glory to God. It's a, good fight. it's a good fight. Not, maybe it's going to be a good fight. No, it's a fight. The good. Fight. The good, the good, the good. So please, what does it mean to say something is good? It's a 
it's good. Because it's good. <laughs> because it's good. So there isn't because anything it's, like... It, it, it's important. It's important. It's important for you to fight it. Hmm. It's important for you to fight that that fight of faith. Mm, mm, That's mm. why the Bible says it is good. Hallelujah. If you want to enjoy all the good things of life, That's you right. want to live in health, mm. it is important for you to fight. Mm. That is why the Bible is saying it is a good fight mm. because the outcome is going to benefit you. The outcome is going to is going to benefit us. Yes. Go because, ahead, please. Yes, mm. because the outcome is going to benefit mm. us because the outcome is going to make you happy. Mm. Because the outcome is going to make you be blessed. That's right. It's going to make you live that abundant life. Glory live to God. that life free of sickness. So that's why it's good. That is why, <laughs> yes, it's telling you it is good. Because it's telling you the aftermath mm, of that fight, mm, the outcome of that mm, fight, mm, the result you are going to get. That is why it's telling you that it's good. And say, he said, fight it. Glory to God. We need to fight it. We need to fight. It's important for us to fight it. You see, if we don't fight for what belongs to us. The enemy can take it from us. Yes, they can. I remember growing up, you know, my my grandma, hmm. my mom was the only child. So hmm. she had a lot of landed property, hmm. which she bequeathed to my mom. Hmm. But then there are a lot of, you know, in Africa. Hmm. So there were all these other family members from nowhere hmm. that just rose up hmm. and wanted to take those land from my mom. She, my mom had to fight it. Hmm. She fought them with every harm of the law. Mm. She took them to court and everything. So mm. she put, it's the same way. Mm. You understand that this is your inheritance. Hallelujah. Just like you were talking mm. about us knowing the word of God, the, right. part, the what God has provided for us. That's right. You know this is your inheritance. Mm. You mm. know this belongs to you mm. in Christ. Amen. And somebody is trying to take it, to from take it away from you. There's something <laughs> within you to rise, to rise up. up. Because, which means... Something is trying to take it away from you. It doesn't want you to enjoy what belongs to you. You did? Yeah. It doesn't want you to enjoy what belongs to you. Something should rise up within us to say, no, 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 I'm going to fight us. You see, the fighting attitude, it is very important for us believers. I'm telling you. Even let's even put it this way. Every known successful people in the secular, in the world, they always have a fighting attitude. They say they are aggressive. They are aggressive. They say they are strong. That's right. That they are rugged. They are rugged. They are fighting. They, mm. they, are, they are aggressive. Mm. They are pushing. They're, that they're is what pushing. they are doing. They yes. are fighting. They are fighting. So which means, even when they said um, to them, maybe they are trying to get a contract, and they say, well, we can't get this contract. They just say, no. Well, let's find out. Let's find out what is it. They begin to what they engage their thinking. <laughs> Even sometimes they try to find out who they know. Who they know? They, they find out. Yes. They're looking for connections. Connections. Who they know? Who they know? Get them that contract. Yes. So they, <laughs> they, they have the almighty exactly. Time. So they they, they 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 try to find out every available means. They just you know you know there's this um there's this um I think is a Faraday, you know either Faraday or or Ford. Either Faraday, yeah, I think Faraday, when it was going to come out with law of electricity. So they were doing experiments. So they will come out, they said, we can't find out. He said, go again. He said, go again. I think they did, they tried over 900 times, if I'm getting it correctly, over 900 times until they discovered electricity, the law of electricity. So the attitude of just giving up is not for us as believers. It's not allowed in the kingdom. It's not allowed in the kingdom. The, the Bible says, from the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. The violent ones. Now, the violent ones which means forceful ones, aggressive. aggressive ones, take it by force. Why is it that um why is it that they have to be aggressive? Why is it that they have to take what belongs to them by force? Because there is something that is what wants to take it away from them. Something is holding them away. Yes, it's trying to take them away. Ooh. And that's what the word of God says. He said, fight the good fight of faith. So if there are no oppositions, if there are no enemies, they wouldn't, the word of God wouldn't have told us to fight the good fight of faith. The Bible says, it says, in the world, you shall have tribulations. In the world, you shall have tribulations. It says, be of good cheer. Oh, Hallelujah. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Hallelujah. It says, be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. The world. But it first tells us, look, 
this is what is going to happen and all that, but be of good cheer. Don't let that bother you. Don't let that bother you. You know, when the Lord Jesus Christ ap appeared to brother Paul, he told him, he said, Paul, so something is going to happen to you, but no man will lay his hand on your life. <laughs> you know, so, when he was, I think when he was being taken to Jerusalem or somewhere, so that uh, whatever, so many things are going to happen to you, but just be of good cheer. No one is going to, I'm with you, no one is what? He's going to lay his hand upon you. Even when, uh, the, the prophets was prophesying, you know, the gadu of Paul, and he bound themselves. He says, thus says that the man that owns this gadu, so, I mean, is, there is afflictions, whatever uh, is awaiting in Jerusalem. Everybody were crying that Paul, 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 don't go. He said, What are you telling me not to go? He said, No, he said, I'm even ready to die for the gospel. To die because you see, the fighting attitude needs to be there. Now, the good thing about it is we are not fighting the battle that we know that we're not going to be victorious about. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We're not fighting that bat bad battle. Because, number one, not wallowing in self-condemnation. Oh, this, oh, why this? Me, me, maybe something that I've done. Guilt. Number two, not allowing our fighting spirit, the courageous attitude, the boldness attitude to be gone. Because we need it as a believer. Because in this world, we will have tribulations. But Jesus says, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. So he said, fight the good fight of faith. So which means, it is a good fight. Yes. It is not a battle that we're going to lose. Mm. He said, fight the good fight of faith. Listen to this again. He said, lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. He said, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold, see? Lay hold on eternal life. You see, our, our being born again puts us on the platform of victorious. Puts us on the platform of winners. Puts us on the platform of overcomers, which means we are already overcomers. But if we don't lay hold of the eternal life that we have obtained, our right standing with God, or about who we are in Christ, or the consequence or the effect of us being in Christ. If we don't lay hold on it, then we don't, we don't, we, there's no way we're going to be a winner. But for us to be able to lay hold on something, we must know what is it that we are laying hold on, right? <laughs> you understand you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if you don't know, know what is it that you are laying hold on? So which means... One of the ingredients in our school of fight, good fight of faith is knowing the will of God for us in any area of our lives. Because if you don't know what you are fighting for, you're just fighting blindly. Blindly. You don't know it. You're just hmm. running around. Hallelujah. You're just going to this one, going to that one, beating hmm. about the bush. Because you don't hmm. even know what you are looking for. Hmm. You know that blind man, he said, heal me. Hmm. Jesus Christ, what do you, what want, you want me, me to, to do, do for you? you? <laughs> what do you want mm. me to do for you? I mm. can do all things, but what exactly? Mm. Be specific. What mm. do you want me to, to do, do for, for you? you? Mm. And he said, he said, that I may receive my sight. Right. That's what he wants. Yeah. That is what is aggressive about, to receive his healing. So you have to be convinced. You have to know what you want. You have to have the knowledge, knowledge from God's word. God. You know, a man of God named F.F. F. Bosworth, you know, mighty man of God, he wrote an excellent book on, on a healing. Wonderful book, Christ the Healer. He said something. He said, faith begins when the will of God is known. Faith begins, which means our confidence, our trust, our persuasion that what we are going through right now, that's, I just know that I 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 know that it is well with me. Amen. I just know that I know that I know that I know that the sickness cannot kill me. I just know that I know that I know that I know that this financial debts will not crush me. Mm. I just know that I know that I know that they will not take my house. Amen. I just know that I know that I know that I know that everything shall be well with me. Now, see, the, 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 the fighting attitude comes when we understand what. We, it's already ours in Christ. Uh, already ours in Christ. He said, faith begins when the will of God is unknown. When the will of God is known. So which means, in order for us to be able to lay hold, as you said, we must know what is it that we're laying hold about. 
We must know what belongs to us in Christ. We must know, we must know what Christ has done for us. Because, so the barometer or what we're going to be using to judge every thoughts, every imaginations, every attack of the head of the devil is to know that mm -mm, this is not from the Lord. That's right. That's right. This is not God. So in the area of sickness, in the area of poverty, whatever it is, let's say, let's say uh, sickness. When the devil is putting sickness on you, saying, well, God is teaching you something. And you, are, you have studied the word of God. You find out that it is not God's will for me to be sick. It is not God's will for me to have cancer. It is not God's will for me to, uh, to be defeated in life. You just know that. It is just God, it is not God's will for me to die young of sickness. It is not God's will. Because the word of God says, himself took my infirmities, my sicknesses. He said that it might be fulfilled by that which was written by Exodus, Matthew 8, 6, 16 and 17. Saying that he himself bear our sicknesses and infirmities. Infirmities and sicknesses. So, sickness is sickness. Cancer is a sickness. You know. Mental, mental issues, mental problem is a sickness. You know, unstable, unstable emotion is a sickness. So, that's not God's will for me. He said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospereth. So, me understanding that, having the revelation of it in my spirit, and I just say, no, 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 no. This is what Jesus already obtained for me. I'm not going to give up. Whew. It is God's will for me to have a good pay, paying job. It is God's will for me to, to be successful in that my school, in that my academics. Because he said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper in all things. So it is God's will for me to prosper, to succeed, to have success. So in this school that I am, the devil is telling me that I'm going to fail this. I'm no, 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 no. Because if we don't do that, if we don't know, then it is going to be impossible for us to lay hold. It is going to be impossible for us to, to do what? To also fight. <laughs> I mean, it's just like uh, if somebody, I mean, uh, our children, if somebody's saying something bad about our children, well, automatically something just rises up in, our, in us. Because we know what? They are our what? Our children. They are our children. They belong to us, to our care. So we will rise up and we'll say, well, you know what? No, 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 you can't talk bad about my child. Or if just somebody trying to mess, mess with you, as hell on, you better don't try it, man. You're going to mess with my wife? Because I know that she's my wife. You understand? So the knowing is very important. It said, lay hold on eternal life. Lay hold on eternal life. Which means the zoe, the life of God that we have in us. Yes. I was going to talk like that. That, that eternal life is not talking about heaven and hell mm. alone. Mm -mm. That's right. Praise the Lord. Because just like that prayer that say, let the will be done on mm -hmm. earth as it is in heaven. It's taking, lay, lay hold on. Mm. Because you are not, there's no fight in heaven. Mm, no, no, no. They no. are not fighting <laughs> for anything in heaven. That's so right. it's talking about here. Mm. That fight the good fight of faith. Mm. Lay hold, hold on eternal, eternal life. life here. Hmm. The Zoe life, yes, yes. Jesus Christ has put Come. for us. Praise the Lord. Don't, right. As given to us, the, you know, you know, John 10, 10 says, he said, the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Have life, have it more abundantly. The life as God has it. That's right. God if we are praying to God today, we don't hear from heaven that say, and the Holy Spirit say, you know, <laughs> Father, the Father God is under the weather. <laughs> oh, you know, God is saying that he's under the weather today. He's not going to be able to attend to you. We never heard about that. And we don't hear that, okay, maybe God is in the, is in the airplane. And they said, everybody, we didn't just need to tell you that uh, I think we don't know what is going on right now. We think God, can, God can crash in an airplane. Is that... He said to have life as God has it. Mm, because we are offspring of him. We are children of him. Mm. So if we don't know what belongs to us in Christ, there is no way we can fight the good fight of faith. Because he said, lay hold on eternal life. Lay hold on what belongs to you. Lay hold on who you are in Christ. Lay hold on understanding the revelation about the name of Jesus. Lay hold mm. that you are a child of God. Lay hold that you are victorious ones. Lay hold that he himself took your infirmities and bore your sicknesses on the cross by stripes you're healed. Lay hold that 
Success, prosperity, financial prosperity, material prosperity is just lay hold onto that. So the laying hold comes, or being able to lay hold very well comes from knowing. Knowing. <laughs> there are people that, uh, in a particular country, they will just say, they will challenge their governments, say, you are not taking good care of us. They will say, according to constitution, the, it, is the, it is your constitutional duty, Mr. President, to, to protect it. us. Because they know it. Because they know it. <laughs> that's, that's the way they, only, they always go. It's a constitutional duty. Mm. See that word, constitutional. Which means that there is that is a draft about what should be the duty of the president. Mm -hmm. And if the president is not doing it, then they're going to say, Mr. President, with due respect, but it is your constitutional, that word, constitutional duty, which means... It is what you have sworn and hope to uphold. To. Mm, mm, mm. How much more we, the body of Christ, yeah. that Jesus already has purchased with his blood. Mm, mm. He took his blood to the heavenly, of all, heavenly, holy, heavenly holy of holy. He purchased eternal redemption for us. So we need to know what we are redeemed from. Glory to God, our time is up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please go ahead and share the video. Let it be a blessing to someone. We have our campaign coming up. Uh, just watch this. Glory to God. We welcome you. Almighty God, we welcome you. Spirit of truth, we welcome you. Almighty God, we welcome you. Spirit of light, we welcome you. Save the date. It's December 20th to 22nd. It is happening in Orlando, Florida. And if you are led to give anything towards this campaign, the giving link is right underneath the video. I think underneath or on, or on top of the video. So please pray along with us. Thank you so much for uh, your past given and present given and future given. Glory to God. And also, if you want to be a partner with our ministry, you can also make that commitment through those links. Uh, we need televangelist partner, people that will be sharing the video so that we can spread the word of God together. Secondly, we also need prayer partners and also financial partners. Now, everywhere we go, we do not ask for anybody to pay for our flight and God has been helping us to do all of this. So we trust that God can speak to you, whichever, which in any of those three that you want to partner with us. Televangelist partner, which means you share our video, you have a watch party about it because you are helping to make it happen. It's not just about money. It's not just money alone. Glory to God. And also prayer partner. We we, we covet pr your prayers everywhere we go so that you pray with us for the glory of God to be made manifest so that it can be impactful. And also financial partners because everything that we do runs on money. Glory to God. And God is our source. But you 
join hands with us. We are taking the gospel to the world together. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. And you will be greatly blessed. Praise the Lord. So if you're right there, if you haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, just say this after all. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, believe I believe that you died for me died and you arose and you for, my for my justification. I now accept I you now accept as my Lord as my and personal Savior. Personal Savior. Thank, Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. Glory to God. You are born again. Make sure you find a Bible-believing Bible church so that, it, uh, so that you can get established in the things of God, so that you can grow in faith, in the knowledge of God's word. Please watch this video over and over again. I'm telling you, there was a testimony that somebody gave yesterday. I'm telling you, that testimony is so powerful. She had a blood pressure of two, 250 over 140. That the doctors were thinking that it's go- she's going to stroke out. But stroke didn't happen. They ran every test. They couldn't find out where the problem is. And she said she got hold of our, of our videos. But she said, she mentioned, she said there were three of them that she believes were very, very powerful. She said she kept listening to them, kept listening to them, and kept declaring, kept declaring, kept declaring. And guess what? She said she slept and she had a dream that somebody came in and said, you have been declaring the word, declaring the word. I'm here to what? To confirm, confirm the word. And she said he, he poured a oil upon her head. And the following morning, she hasn't taken that medication. They took the pressure. Even she was taking the medication because she said she Change all, I mean, they switch to different types of uh, anti-hypertensive medication. Nothing was working, you know. So the person took the blood pressure. She said she took it again. She took it again. She took it again. She was wondering, maybe there's something else again. She said, this blood pressure is 140 over 80 something or so. I said, what? He said, by 2 p.m. the following day, the pressure was 125 over 80 or so. From 250 over 140. He said, high blood pressure. Let's. <laughs> I'm telling you, we know when, when she was telling me, man, there was so much <laughs> anointed. There was so much, so much. My body was just what? She said she got hold of the teaching video, kept listening to it again and again and again and again. She said there were three in particular. That's what she said. She's going to write us the testimony. We're going to share it with you. God is working, and to our partners, to everyone that have been praying with us, you are helping to make it happen. Two hundred blood pressure of two hundred and fifty over one forty, no stroke. But they couldn't find out what is going on. And within a day, she, the pressure came down to 125. She's off medications right now. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is good. Glory to God. You see, what we are doing is real. Because God is real. His word is real. Please understand that. So go ahead and share the video. Let it be blessed to someone. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give a praise. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's declare this. Say, I am a faith being. I am a faith being. I walk by faith. I walk by faith. I live by faith. I live by faith. My faith, my faith is putting me over putting me whatever over. challenge whatever or challenge circumstance or I, might I might be facing. I will find out, I will find out from God's word from God's what, he what he has and said. And I will begin, I will begin to, meditate to meditate upon it, upon it and, begin and begin to declare it. To declare it. Because, because I know, I know that my faith will put me over. Put so me I am an overcomer. An overcomer. I declare my body is well. My body, is my body is healed. My body I is declare healed. my back accounts my back account are filling up. Are filling up. I, declare I declare that all of my financial debts, my financial are, debts paid are paid or dematerialized in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, am I am rich. I am healed, I am healed. In, the in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. All right, until tomorrow for our Faith for Healing or Healing School. Remember that Jesus is Lord and is coming very, very soon. Shalom. Be ready and be blessed. Amen.